Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with a different video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to replace or fix your uh, PlayStation 4 joystick. This can apply to the right or left joystick. If your joystick is just drifting or it's just not responding well or it's broken. And in this video, we're going to cover it, how to permanently to repair and fix the issue. And if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment area and I'll try to answer them. This client brought it in and they put the, the joystick on the left side is drifting or is not responding. So what I'm going to do first, put a label right here so I don't accidentally change the other one. So let's get into it. All right, we're going to need a few tools for this uh, process. The tools that you're going to be needing, it's a soldering station. I'll leave the link in the description. This soldering, I like this soldering station. These are the TS100 electric ones. And you can adjust the temperatures and everything. You're going to set this one at 360 degrees. And I'm not going to turn it on yet. And the other more important one is a, is a working towel. You're going to need about two or three of these ones. Three sheets of the working towel. And the most important one is an opening tool, a screwdriver set. I use the iFixit, the iFixit tool set, and they have all of the bits that you need. You're going to be using bit number Phillips double zero. You're going to be needing 90% or 95% alcohol, uh, solder, and some flux. Also, you're going to be needing a replacement joystick. You can, these are called potentiometer. These are for the X and Y axis. And the click button right there is the whole thing is one kit. So if you want to clean it, something like that is not going to last within a few days or weeks. It's just going to go back and it's going to go bad. So the best thing is to replace the potentiometer. Also, you can change it or change the whole cap on it too in this case we're just going to change the potentiometer also you're going to be needing a desoldering wire or desoldering wick and let's get this thing started first thing first we're going to open it up take it apart and you will need a scissors too so grab any type of scissors we're going to remove the four screws at the back of the Joist, I mean, controller. So go ahead and remove them. The screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. At this point, I am going to turn on the solder station. All right, next, you, what you want to do, you want to lift up this side first a little bit. Now, you want to bring it over a little bit. You want to just hear those clicks. Once you have this gap opening here, gap opening on the other side, pull back the triggers and pull this back cover towards the front so you can release the cover. Same thing on this side. Now don't pull the cover, there's a flex cable at the back for the charging port. So just pull up, just grab it and pull it backward the jack. Okay, the pins that is showing is towards the battery. So don't put it the other way around, it's not going to work. So make sure the blue cover is towards the outside. All right, next, the battery is right here. Wrap the battery, lift up this. There might be some adhesive here. So pull it up and pull the jack out, remove the battery. The battery only goes one way in, so don't worry about the orientation. Next, grab the uh, caddy where the battery goes, just by pull it out, wiggle it around. And it should come up there. Okay. Now there's only one screw right here that we need to remove. This one over here in the middle. This is the same screw as the cover screws. Now next, you want to pull this flex cable out. So grab this handle right here and slide it backward, and it will come out pretty easy. 
and we're gonna desolder this cables for the vibrators on the side so just remember which one goes where so this one is the red one is the positive and the negative positive and negative is just inverted you can just write it down in the paper or take a picture so you know where you're gonna solder it back together in order to desolder those you need to apply a little bit of flux on top of the pins this one is just a tiny bit right there what the flux is does it just makes the melt brings the melting temperature point for the solder so you can remove it easily so there we go one there's a second one same thing here just desolder it easily now you can go ahead and lift up the motherboard there's a tiny hinges that holding it one in this corner you have to pull it back a little bit so as you lift it up pull this trigger backward there we go and there's two more triggers right there and one right at the back so remove those triggers and now you can pull the card out and there you have it just put the rest to one side now we gotta work on this one we're gonna be replacing the left one so the left one is this one so i'm gonna remove the cap so i know which one it is just double check make sure your potentiometer is the same size the same contact the color it could be different doesn't matter all right now we're going to be replacing this one simply you need to put some place to hold it so what are we going to do first we're going to apply some flux on the pins in the same pins right here so try to see locate them these are leaded leaded solder so that's why we need to mix it with a lead free solder So pick up a little solder on the point of the solder station and then just mix it with on every joint hold it there for a few seconds on every pen let it mix the new solder with the old solder right there all right once we mixed up the solder right there you can go ahead and clean it up a little bit so you remove the burned flux right there on top of it and you're going to apply new flux on the pins now we're going to use the solder wick they come with a different this is 0.5 millimeters you can buy a little bit of thicker the three millimeters or you can just you squish it back and it's just going to get flatter so this is what i do with this one um, i run out of the thicker ones so this way is going to absorb better the solder all right once we did this one i'm going to cut the tip because there's an old solder right there now here i'm going to put up a little this flux on the on the back end just a little bit So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this wire on top of the pins and I'm going to heat up the pins and this wire is going to absorb the flux right from it, the old and the new flux. So hold it there, let the pins absorb the flux and do it to the, all of the pins one by one. And if you can go ahead and start cutting the tape. Uh, keep continuing like this
All right, now you can go ahead and clean it up a little bit after you did the pass. You might have to do a few passes depending how you have to be able to see the pins getting loose. If the pins are not getting loose, you have to do the second pass. Make sure all the pins are like a, you see the black dot right there is empty space. That's what you want to get it. If it's not removing, grab a little more of more flux and then do a second pass on them. All right, now what I did, I just did a second pass and I cleaned up all the pin holes for the legs. But you can see all of the pins are solder free. They have a little tiny space in between them. So what do you want to do once you remove it? You want to flip it over and you just want to lift up, pull it out easily. It will come out pretty easy. And the pin holes are clean. Once you take it out, now you can do a second clean it up and before you put the new one in you want to clean it up nicely both end of the board and uh, just make sure all the uh, contacts are clearly open if one of them is not open put a little bit of flux and solder and use the wiring wig to just uh, open it up nicely and make sure on both sides it should be really really nicely open all right, once you have it like this, you want to place it on top, place it in that right foot. There's only one way that goes in, so don't worry about it. Now, what you want to do, you want to sit it in a nice place. What you want to do, you want to add a fresh uh, flux on every pin. So pretty much, you just want to dab it in. So you just put a little bit like that on every pin. Not excessive, just a little bit. And push it inward. Okay. Now, this part is really easy. And it should be really easy for you guys to do this part. You just, what you want to do, you want to push it inward from the back. Hold it. So pretty much I'm pushing it with these two fingers and uh, with these two fingers I'm pretty much pressing it together. And I'm going to grab a little solder on the tip of my solder iron. I'm going to do the four corners. So this corner right here. Do the corner on the other side. Well, once you did the four corners and then you can stop pressing it, you don't need to hold it anymore. Just put a tiny dab and don't hold it on the pins. Just about maximum two seconds on each. Well, do about one maybe. So you don't want to overheat the new pin. Alright, now that we got all the Pins with the flux in there. Uh, we're gonna do one last cleaning. So this should be your last cleaning on this one. Remove all the flux. You see, I'm just punching it in there. All right. Now, as we can see, all the pins are nicely in place. So there's no missing pin that has no solder on it 
that the new joystick is in place nicely. So the next step would be to grab the bottom cover and now before we do that you got to put the joystick on top, the cover, press it on top, pull the cable to one side, this cable right here too, bring it down and press it in, push it all the way down. Make sure these cables are away. First go ahead and put the one screw to keep the motherboard in place. The screw in, in here, the, the head of the screw is a little bit of, is smaller than the cover, but it's eventually it's the same type. Now we're going to slide down the flex cable from the one side there. And we're going to align it and then push it towards the jack there we go now let's go ahead and put the positive and negative side of this vibrators right here so grab a little of plugs and then solder it right in place on this side it was the other way around the red one is on top And there we go, now we can turn off the solder station. And now we're gonna walk backward, grab the uh, caddy for the battery, place it, align it right on top, push it towards the motherboard, grab the battery, the battery only goes one way in, put it on top of the tray, grab the flex cable for the power jack, and bring it on top, and you want to put it inside the jack straight down okay there's not enough force you don't have to put too much force now what you want to do you want to bring the first the cover on top of the l2 and r2 and then you want to pull it back a little bit make sure it gets right in there there we go get this one in place now once you got it in there just close the, there should be no extra force or anything, don't force it, you want to break everything. Now the new joystick is in place. Alright, and the last step would be to put the bottom three screws. I hope you guys liked this video and it helped you guys out. If it did, please click that thumbs up button. And if you have any questions or requests, you know where to leave them. And I would really appreciate if you guys subscribe, it really helps and motivates me to take requests and answer your questions. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in my next video.